What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today uh, we're going to be doing a vlog in the Cummins. Now I've been been wanting to do a vlog for a little while but haven't had, it's, it's been it's been so busy lately but um, just getting all, all sorts of stuff uh, ready and edited but um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and jump in. And for everybody that saw the reveal video, um, you guys have already seen a tour of this truck. So what I'll probably do is put that uh, put that tour video um, at the end in the end board, so you guys can get a link to that if you guys haven't seen that one yet. But um, I need to go ahead and get the key out of my pocket because we need to start this truck up if we're gonna get anywhere. Key's still got a VW tag on it because I bought it from a VW dealer. But let's go ahead and come on. All right, and go. Power. Oh, actually, I'm gonna let you guys hear how the uh, how the five inch straight pipe sounds at idle. already out driving a little bit earlier um, yeah earlier I was out driving uh, a little bit but um, but actually as you guys can see the temperature gauge is actually already back down pretty much all the way which is kind of actually it's kind of funny because I didn't I didn't leave the truck sitting for all that long but it really did cool off so I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, actual um, GoPro mount set up and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a minute all right Alrighty guys, so without further ado, let's go. Got it all the way down in first, so I can pretty much creep down this driveway. Like I said, the thing sounds like an absolute beast. I gotta be careful on that side, because if not, I will, uh, if not, I'll scrape my tow mirror on a tree. And yes, they are folded in. No ghost trailer behind this Cummins. They're, uh, they're folded in. Trust me. I'm gonna go ahead and put the windows back up so you guys can. Uh, I'll get a little bit of AC going so I'm not roasting in here, but I'll let you guys get a little bit of turbo whistle real quick because this thing, I mean, you can really hear it. Just even under light acceleration, you can just hear that whistle. I don't know how it comes through on the GoPro, but I really hope you guys can hear it. Especially when the turbo. Uh, when the turbo kind of blows off, it's it sounds really good. And I do apologize if the light is a little bit low. Um, and also with the camera position, that's a totally new camera position. I've never vlogged in this thing before, so I might be over here or over here. I don't know uh, exactly where that camera is pointed um, because I didn't do a reference shot beforehand, <laughs> um, which I probably should have done. I probably should have done a reference shot beforehand, just you know to be thorough and all, but. Uh, honestly, I, I didn't think of it. <laughs> I didn't think of it. And I was like, well, we're running out of light real quick and I got to get out and vlog. But um, I filled this thing up for the first time today. Didn't fill it up all the way all the way from, um, from you know, close to empty. It was more around like kind of between a quarter tank and half a tank. Um, I don't like, I don't generally like to get any, to let any of my vehicles go below a uh, quarter tank. It's just kind of a personal preference. I mean, it kind of keeps me on my toes about making sure they're always filled up. And yes, we're merging, thank you. Listen to that. I mean, that's just very light acceleration, very light throttle. Really, EK Drifter 458 just popped up on my phone <laughs> in a vlog. EK Drifter 458 just popped up. I have on my phone, you know, synced and everything so I can hear it and I can see who it is. And I was like, oh, EK Drifter. Hey, well, okay, there you go. <laughs> well, EK, you got a part in the vlog. You're not here, but you got a part in the vlog. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to, a, uh, to an underpass and do a little bit of a pull just so you guys can hear the uh, absolute, just the ferocity. 
intensity of uh, of this thing, it's uh, it sounds incredible. Like, cause like I said before, it pulls way harder than a stock Cummins does. I know it's got a performance tune on it, but I don't know where that tune came from. I don't know if it's if it's like a packaged tune, like a pre-made tune, or if it was a custom tune somebody got made uh, for them. So I'll have to figure that out later on. But um, I mean, it depends. I'll probably go with EFI Live. Um, and get some custom tunes done. Either EFI Live or the Smarty Tuner. The Smarty Tuner is one of the best ones you can get as far as kind of a pre-made tune. But I know that if you really want to go, if you really want to go big and have multiple maps and really have a, a well uh, well-rounded setup, then EFI Live is the way to go. At, at least from what I've heard, you can get so many different setups. You can get a, for example, you got your EFI Live setup right. You'll have a mileage tune, a towing tune, a performance tune, and like a race tune or a hot tune. And the hot tunes on EFI Live are absolutely insane uh, from what I've seen, what I've heard. EFI Live has been big in the Duramax world for a long time. And I mean, it's been recently over the past few years, people have been starting to adapt it uh, more to, uh, to some Cummins trucks and with some pretty amazing results, these things will move. I mean, even on the tune that it's got on it right now, it still moves. It, it, it's 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 got a lot of torque. It's got a lot of torque. I mean, stock these trucks came with about 610 pound feet, and I guarantee you that there's more than that um, with the with the mods that have been done to this truck and the tune that it, that it has on it. So I don't know what kind of power it's making. I don't want to say until I get it on a dyno and actually see what it's making to the wheels. But honestly, it's gotta be, it's gotta be up there. I mean, the butt dyno, the butt dyno, while it's completely subjective from person to person, is actually kind of an accurate measurement if you've been in a lot of fast vehicles. So again, it all depends. I mean, and even coming from somebody that, that daily drives a turbo FRS, which is a pretty quick car, this thing is quick. I mean, it really is, especially for being a freaking massive truck. It's quick really freaking quick. All right, windows down, underpass time. Let's do this. Green. Got the windows down for maximum sound. All right, guys, you ready? Let's do this. And go. fun to drive and again coming from somebody that drives a turbo FRS you know made for made especially for you know a handling focused car and then coming over to this yeah this thing doesn't really handle I mean it, it'll it will it'll turn and that's about it when it comes to handling I mean it's a truck but as far as actual driving fun it's, I mean, it's up there and it, it, it is for its own reasons. I mean, the FRS and BRZ are fun because of their, because of their incredible handling, right? Their incredible cornering. The, uh, this Cummins is fun because of the power and the sound and the torque. But the thing is, the last time I turned around here, I was in the FRS. <laughs> so the turner, the turning radius of this thing is almost cartoonish compared to the turning radius of the FRS. This is like turning a aircraft carrier around. It really is. I'm still having to get used to the size of the thing. It's crazy.
well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of uh, the Cummins and uh, or that vlog in the Cummins. And uh, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.